So media have gotten their hands on Pokemon Snap and they got to watch quite a bit of gameplay and we got a lot of new information in these previews of the game which is coming in just over one month's time. I am looking forward to playing that here on this channel and I hope you guys will be here with me watching it too. We're going to look for some exploits, we're going to try getting shinies and we're going to try getting the best picture in the online stuff. But in this video we are going to talk about all the brand new features that are coming. We've got 13 new things that have been learned in this preview and we're going to go through it along with a lot of new footage of the game itself but first if you like what we do on this channel don't forget to spank that subscribe button because you're gonna see a lot more coming when all these new games come out a lot of new news a lot of new information and a lot of new exploits as well as giveaways and all the good stuff guys so hit that subscribe button and you won't regret it so here's some footage of Pokemon snap and we do have some notes to go with this the Pokemon company provided these to the media that we're observing and it looks like we are going to get voice acting in the game when you can get to choose between either English or Japanese and you can turn them off at any time or you can swap them at any time throughout your playthrough. Interestingly enough about voice acting, people have been calling for that from Game Freak Games for a while now. It looks like that is one of the topics that exploded recently a little bit for the latest game on the Switch and people are just wondering why haven't they implemented this yet? Especially when all these other games are doing it and it seems to be fairly easy to do it, especially with how much resources Game Freak and the Pokemon Company should be able to have at their disposal to actually make a great game. Why don't they have voice acting yet? So people are really asking that question. Of course, with Pokemon Snap, it's not made by Game Freak, it's made by Bandai Namco and they got different connections and different resources at their disposal for this. Next feature is character customization which we did not get any footage of sadly but it looks like you're going to be able to do something very similar to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hair color, skin color, eye color, that's about it and uh, you're not going to be able to change your clothing throughout the gameplay either or your appearance unlike Sword and Shield so that's something to pay attention to. Once you make your character at the beginning of the game that's your character and there are no clothing assets in the game to be unlocked or discovered or anything like that according to the Pokemon company Another piece of important information is that unlike what Nintendo has done with a lot of recent games, you're not going to be getting extra benefits from having save game data of other Pokemon games in this game. Makes sense since it's not connected to Game Freak, it's a bit of an outsourced thing with Bandai Namco, so it's going to be a little different. This one is demonstrating a brand new feature that's coming to Pokemon Snap that was not in the original, and that is a scan pulse, which is a mechanic that will allow you to attract the attention of Pokemon you're looking for, and they will in turn respond by giving you a wave or doing whatever they do. You can also attract them over to items you're throwing them that that's not, that might look like an apple. It's not. It's a berry or something. <laughs> Another new feature making its way here that was not on the N64 is of course gyro controls, something we've all grown familiar with since the Wii days. And now on the Nintendo Switch the functionality is pretty good so it looks like we're not going to be relying on analog sticks like you have to actually see in this footage, but you're going to have full control to be able to just move around, rotate and whatever to take the pictures faster, quicker, just sort of similar to like playing Fortnite on the Switch or something where you can move your aim. Any gun game would be the same idea, so you're not aiming a gun, you're aiming a camera. That's really good news for everyone who wants to play like this. Another upgrade following the gyro controls is also going to allow for speedy picture taking, which is the separation of zooming and taking or throwing things to take pictures, okay? So you on the N64 it was more limited in terms of that, but on this you can throw objects and be ready to take a picture with a different button so you didn't have to zoom in anymore. That's going to allow for much more rapid picture taking as well as just being able to capture the scene that you get at that very specific second. So it does appear that the new game does completely deviate from the N64 version to bring you a lot of upgrades and quality of life improvements. But also another deviation is where you're starting in. In this game, the new one, you're not going to be starting on the beach necessarily. Uh, so you will have different levels, different bit of a mix up. And you're also going to be able to choose different directions. So deviating from the path, going left or right or whatever to give you a new experience each time you try to use this route and see new things. All the levels that you get to go through are also going to have big variations. You're going to have the day and night cycle as expected. You're going to be able to go different routes as well. But as you gain experience having played the game more and more, there's going to be more and more Pokemon 
actually appearing in these different places, which means you're gonna have to go back to these routes to see a lot of new things, including a lot of new Pokemon. Day or Night Cycle is also gonna alter that, as well as just what the Pokemon are gonna be able to do and interact with when you throw those things. Finally, for my favorite feature, which is the ability to edit photos like this to be able to change them and add a bit of character that fits with your own personality and your own creativity. These can be used and then uploaded as long as you have Nintendo Switch Online, by the way, so you can farm those beloved likes you like doing on social media. <laughs> and obviously, that's going to be a cool thing to compete with against other creators and other people. But by the way, we do get a little glimpse at Celebi at the top left there, that's pretty cool, so that's confirmed. But you can actually recapture or re-snap using this sort of new mechanic to go into an old photo and change your, your position and change other aspects of the photo as well. It's kind of like just like a frozen snapshot of the actual game. So I think that's a really cool set of features that's going to allow you and enable you to kind of manipulate your pictures and just play online with each other, compete and like try to get the top, top mark and ranking photos out there. Especially with all the replayability factors in this game that you are able to go back to the different routes day and night. Possibly different weather, which is something we did not hear about yet, but that seems to be highly likely. As well as just uh, the different features of interactability with the different Pokemon. And getting some more experience in the field will allow you more Pokemon to just appear straight up, so it'll be much more busy. Uh, also, you'll see other Pokemon interacting with each other in different ways too. So there's so much that's going on to this game. I'm actually surprised there's a lot more than I was expecting. So I'm going to be enjoying this game very, very soon. Uh, I guess in a month or a little over a month's time as well. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, if you are new, do drop that sub. We are going to be knocking this game out of the park when this, as soon as it comes out. I got a little holiday as well. Uh, that's going to be going on for a week just after this game comes out. So we're going to get to go on this game pretty hard. So hopefully you guys join me for that. I'll see you guys around in the next video. Thanks for watching. Until then guys, bye!